This video is about how to do your own nanotech solar cells. Using advanced nanotechnology processes, it's possible to use titanium dioxide or, alternatively, cuprous oxide to make your own cells at home. The future of solar cells is in third generation solar technologies that use quantum dots, which are also called optical rectenos. This later solar tech allows for individuals to make their own solar cells using common materials. In the near future, it will be as easy as buying a can of spray paint at Home Depot that uses quantum nanodots. These will be immersed already in the paint. Sprayed on a material, it will make flexible solar panels very cheaply. This video shows two materials, the first being titanium dioxide, sensitized with raspberry tea by Gretzel. Gretzel is a professor at the Switzerland Polytechnical Institute. The second one is cuprous oxide doped with graphene that I have developed. This is the process for making at your own pace or own development the Gretzel cell. This uses the semiconductor titanium dioxide, TiO2. Small particles of the titanium dioxide, best at 50 nanometers diameter, are placed on a glass substrate, the square. Afterwards, boiled raspberry tea is used lightly in an eyedropper and applied equally over the surface. Once the raspberry tea is spread out over the surface, it is heated up with the titanium dioxide particles. The T bonds with the particles and affects how they react with light. All on their own, titanium dioxide reacts with ultraviolet light and is not sufficient to power the solar cell. With the aid of the raspberry T dye, it makes the titanium dioxide interact with visible light, greatly improving the cell's solar output. This is my own, the cuprous oxide doped with graphene cell. The first step is to heat copper in a square rectangle, preferably, similar to a roofing flashing tile. Heat up the copper plate until it forms a black layer on top. With a wet cloth, carefully remove the top layer of oxide that forms. This top layer will be black in color. Rub off the black part carefully and expose the layer below which is red and uh, sparklish red. This is the cuprous oxide layer. Add to this layer graphene nanoflakes of 15 nanometers in diameter. Set this assembly into the sunlight for about 5 hours. The sunlight will help bond the graphene particles to the cuprous oxide. After this, put a thin layer of plastic over the cuprous oxide and graphene to shield the cell from damage from the environment. Attach electrodes in front on the plate and in back, one electrode touching the cuprous oxide layer and one the regular copper on the back side of the cell.